next thing I'm doing is the measure quick um, insulation commissioning. I'm doing that using the um, true flow grid that we can actually put in the system and measure exact CFM. And then that's integrated with measure quick. So we can do a full system commissioning. So let me just walk you through that process. All right, so I'm gonna start project. AC installation, and we're going to create a new site. All right, job site. So right here it gives me my address already, and then I'm gonna start with customer details. So a lot of this you can skip. All right, system information, this is crucial. Year installed, 2000. 24. Oh, that's a condensing unit. Let's go air handler. Okay, so once I've started my project, then I'm going to go in and fill out all the information I need. I'm going to give the address here. And then, most importantly, the equipment size, what type it is. It's going to ask me the type of compressor I have. Um, and it's going to ask me the tonnage, model, serial, all that information. It's going to ask me about the filter. I'm going to fill out my whole system profile in here, uh, job site information, and uh, before I start doing all the testing. So that's the first step. Okay, all right, so I've got all the system profile uploaded, all the information they need to know about what system it is. Now it's time for measurements. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by finding out what my airflow is, the true, true flow grid. So in measure quick, uh, once I've opened up my profile, I'm going to click on indoor measurements, and then you have an option, use TrueFlow application. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and that takes me immediately out to the uh, TrueFlow grid app that I also have downloaded on here. And I'm going to run the test for Measure Quick, and then I'm going to turn these on. It actually turns on. Complete. Connect to each one. There we are, ready to take our measurements. So, um, gas, propane, or air handler. I'm going to select air handler as my application. Upflow. And then filter location, which would be either a slot in the duct or in the cabinet, multiple filters, or filter grill. This is a filter grill. My design cooling is 350 CFM per ton here in Florida, uh, 350 CFM per ton. That's more ideal for our climate because we're focusing on dehumidification. First things first. Follow the steps, it's as simple as that. First, I'm going to stick it into my return, which I can go in here or I can go in behind the filter. I'm going to go in behind the filter. So you can see we have our filter and I'm measuring in between the filter and the coil. So I've pushed in behind the filter. I'm take measurement recording an average over a few seconds. Now, i put it in the supply. That's much better supply static than what we had last time. <laughs> nice, much better. Take measurement. Continue. Next, we replace our filter with our true flow grid. All the steps include turning off system operation. So I gotta make sure the unit shuts off. And then have the grill that's the right size, which is my 18 by 24. grid in in place of the filter 
and turn the air handler back on high and cooling. Okay, as the fan's revving up, it's giving us the actual CFM. All right, I've got it in place. Turn my air handler back on. And now I'm letting the fan uh, rev up to full speed. So right now we're at about um, 9.89 for our three ton. Does that mean I'm not in the full speed yet? My fan is just not full speed, right? Do you have an app? No, calculate 3989 divided by 3 is 2.8 so. 280 a ton. We need 350. So we should be at 1050. 1050. Yeah. Because that's the number I remember in my head. So airflow uh, adjustments. Airflow. Upstairs, thermostat. All right, I'm going to take measurement. Save that. I got my numbers here that I can check out, or I can go back to measure quick, or I'm going to finish doing my report. So now my airflow. Uh, CFM has actually been locked in to measure quick and I can get the rest of my readings. So let's go outside, make sure we're all hooked up. And we're also going to get our electrical readings outside. Okay. All right, so I have my field piece all hooked up to the equipment, measuring the pressure, subcool, superheat, and uh, that's all automatically locked on to measure quick. So I'm going to save that. Now I can continue with the live testing or I can actually um, save it right at any point where I see that it's actually reading accurate so that when I go back upstairs it doesn't lose connection. But this is great. We have 8 degrees of subcool, 13 degrees superheat. Everything looks right on target here. I am going to go next to my electrical measurements. I'm going to go ahead and enter in the electrical measurements. Now my meter actually connects seamlessly with measure quick. Forget gloves. If yours doesn't, you can just take the measurements and then enter them in. Two twenty-six volts. Nine point two in my amps. It actually started connecting, so now I'm going to do it for real. All right, voltage. I'm go ahead. And All right, so next thing I need to do is just fill out my vitals report and make sure my system's running good. Right now everything's in the green, so I got a great report on my system. I can fill out my report and actually send it to the customer, let him know he can see himself that it all his vitals are looking good on his system, so we're good to go here. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.